So let's say you have a clivia in flower, you want to self-pollinate it, in other words, pollinate it with itself, but you don't want to use a brush or pollen out of the fridge or magnifying glasses. I'm going to show you how to do that. Welcome to today's Clivia Chat here on Clivias for Africa. My name is Marnie. As you can see, I've got a beautiful bronze clavier flower here in front of me. And uh, I'm going to show you the easiest way to self-pollinate this clavier to have the best chance to get similar offspring. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is here you've got the flower and you can see there's six anthers with a pollen on it. Each one has got the pollen on it and here you've got the stigma. All right, so let me see if I can zoom in a bit more. Nope, that's the, the best I can do. Let me just do it like this. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to use is my finger. <laughs> All right, so let me show you how easy this is. So if you touch that filament with your finger, you're going to see the pollen sitting on my finger. So if I do that on a few of those filaments full of pollen you're gonna see look at all the pollen sitting there all right so I'm just basically gonna take my finger and I'm gonna make sure that there's a lot of pollen on my finger there you can see all right then I'm gonna go to the stigma and you'll see on the stigma there's three small points and that's on each stigma you'll always have that and I'm gonna take that pollen and I'm going to wipe it off on the stigma. So this is basically what a bee or an insect will do in nature. Or a sunbird on the more pendulous species. But uh, yeah, it's as simple as that. There's the pollen. I put it on there. And there you go. In fact, you can see now on each of those three points, you can see how yellow they are now. So the pollen is basically sitting there and the process of pollination is now busy taking place, um, which is going to result in a berry and later on, you're going to sit with the right berry in about eight to 10 months. You're going to sit with the berry with ripe seeds inside of that berry. And that is really how easy it is to self-pollinate a plant if you don't want to use any equipment like brushes or pollen tubes or anything like that. So this is an ideal method probably either for a beginner or somebody who's just in a hurry and they want to make sure that their plants are going to have berries and seeds on and uh, giving them a good chance to probably grow similar color clivias out of those seeds. Very simple and easy, as you can see. I hope this video helped you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our Clivias for Africa YouTube channel and remember to click on the notification bell to be informed of any new Clivia videos that we might put on our channel. Thank you. Enjoy your Clivias. Until next time. Bye-bye.